Gonna catch a copyright, baby. What's up, we're live. Oh, yeah. Fucking Dusty Hill just passed away last night from ZZ Top. What a joke. What's going on, everybody? We're People are dropping like flies this week. I don't like it. I don't like it. Standing all oh, me Meehan, dude. It's all Josh Kronowski. Without Kronowski, I'm still not talking to you guys. <laughs> as plain and simple as I can put it. And everybody that wanted to share their thoughts and opinions yesterday, and I, I told everyone I knew exactly what was happening. Uh, I knew exactly what was happening, because look, our, our mixer is basically sold out for uh, after this. It might officially be sold out. There was one spot left when I went live. So, I mean, I, I know what I'm doing here, friends. <laughs> for better or for worse, when things are good, when things are bad, I still know what the fuck's going on in my own. My own break room. I know how this hobby works. I know how fickle people can be. And I know there's a time and a place where they don't give a fuck about you, period. So no matter if you're not posting what they want to buy, they're not showing up just because they like you. You know what I mean? So I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that. Let, let me make that perfectly clear, too. I, I understand. I understand that. So that's why I'm just like, fuck it. I'll be back when uh, clear too. I, I'll be back when you, when you guys are back. Fucking adulting. <laughs> Ooh, four hundred dollar vacuum fin. Are you getting a shark? I highly recommend the shark, bro. The shark, and then for hardwood and carpet, they make this thing called the Bissell Crosswave, and my wife absolutely loves it. I bought her one of those units, and uh, that thing's badass. It mops and vacuums at the same time, but you have to clean the rollers. You have to clean the rollers. People complain that the 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 Bissell Crosswave thing smells bad. That's because they don't clean the fucking rollers. And obviously, if you get dirty water on some sort of fabric and you don't clean it, it's going to stink. That's just people with being fucking lazy. I'm getting one of those. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. The Crosswave's dope. Uh, it really is, and it smells nice too. They make different kind of cleaners for it, so like it, it smells like warm clean. <laughs> Smells clean. Uh, ran randoms. We're here for seven minutes. I haven't done anything for randoms. I just found out that ZZ Top guy passed away right when I was going live. I'm like, this sucks. I was jamming out to something else. I'm like, we need some, some ZZ Top here, you know. I'm always up for some LaGrange. Now, uh, let's switch screens. Do the randoms. Uh, list of humans first. But yeah, it's Kronowski last night. He hit me up and asked me if I'd break it last night. I don't know, it was 8 or 9 o'clock. I'm like, I'd rather not. Uh, so, so uh, here we are. He's like, alright, I'll leave it open and see if anybody else wants to buy a spot. Mike bought one spot and then he bought the rest. <laughs> Josh is really hoping for the Pirates though. Well, if he doesn't get the Pirates, I think he's going to kill me. But he knew what he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Keith, you're on top, buddy. Needed something to do. I get it, bud. I get it. I was I was trying to do something, too. You know what I mean? Ha <laughs> ha. I was trying to do something myself, friend. Uh, three ninety nine. And I had a, the worst headache all day yesterday. It was like the best day to, for me. Really, you don't... That's not true, because like, when you don't have anything to do... You don't want to feel like shit, but if you're going to feel like shit, it's nice to not have anything to do. And the worst migraine yesterday. Uh, team randoms. And it did not go away until about 11 o'clock last night. I don't know what the fuck that was about. I get them, but usually I can get them to go away. I probably had 1,000 milligrams of caffeine yesterday. I didn't do nothing. Between the pre-workout, the Excedrins, the Red Bulls, you know, we keep it pumping here at Underground. Six times on the team's. Are the sharks the auto ones? What, what? What? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, the, uh, no. Hang on, Finn. I or I can send you a picture later. It's like a, it's just a vacuum. It's got little headlight. It's got little headlamps on it. Uh oh, where's the pirates? It's the biggest storyline of the break. He didn't get him. He didn't get him. Jose Luis. Oh, you're 
Cologne, bro. I don't know if he's watching, but I've been dying to say that for months now. It's been a while since our boy Jose's in here. And then he went and bought on the website and didn't use his full name. So I'm super bummed about that. Uh, oh, he's here. He's here. He knew. He got the Pirates. Congrats, buddy. That's a big pickup. It's a big pickup, my man. Thanks for supporting Underground, baby. That's all I got to say. Three ninety nine. Josh has left the chat. I'm not even going to look at the chat. I'm afraid what he's going to tell me. <laughs> I'm afraid what Josh has to say on the subject. <laughs> oh, he only said shit. That's not so bad. It's not so bad. <laughs> Did you get the Finns or the Padres, Josh? Did you get anyone? Anyone of note? Vax, Indian Trains, Astros, Nats, Phillies, Dodgers, Marlins. You got the Marlins, okay. You got the, that last case was a Marlins case, too. And the Padres. You got the Marlins and the Padres, so two out of the top three. suppose it could be a little worse. Sorry, I need to crop these a little more better. I do it as quickly as possible, and sometimes it's not the, the best crop job. I'm going to rage quit. <laughs> the Cubs, Keith, hey, baby. They're not the best, but go Cubs, go. Uh, the Dodgers were asking about Kimbrel, I guess. Going to be a wild next couple of days. I'm sorry in advance, guys. My hands are fucking wrecked. Holy cow. It was a heavy leg day at the gym. And I have not... I haven't even had lunch yet. I wanted to get this one breaking since it's been full since last night. Uh, let me go grab the list, friends, and I'll get the teams on the screen and we'll get to ripping. But I got them next day when I didn't want them. I bought all those spots in the last Series 2 break thing, but I got them the next day when I didn't want them. Oh, in the mixer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, sounds about right. <laughs> that is right. Um, $3.99. There's nothing special about this. I'm fairly certain the next mixer is sold out. Um, I need to check though real quick. No, it's, there's still one spot left. Okay, I'm like, cause I I just need to post on there. It's gonna break eventually. I don't have the best time, the best time period. Because I don't know exactly when this break will end. I'll have to move these cards over there, make my new list, and then uh, get everything set up accordingly. Again, I'm going to get a sip. Future Matt Javi Baez. Uh, I mean, here's the thing, though. I wish he wouldn't have said that. Because it, 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 it could be taken two ways. One, actually one, my camera is not where it should be. Nope, wrong way. Hang on. Shouldn't have anything blocking the view. There we go. Uh, I was picking up part of one of my monitors. It's behind my monitors. Um, one, he said he would play second base to play with Lindor. So, he didn't say, I want to be a New York Met. And two, I think that does hurt any sort of trade value to not the Mets. So, I don't know if the Cubs will trade him. I don't know. Because if he goes anywhere else, people are going to be like, oh, he said he's going to go to the Mets. He wants to go to the Mets if, if Cohen and company will pay him what he thinks he's worth so there's there's a couple issues there but i think it hurts him so I, for him i you know you can't knock him he can say whatever the fuck he wants he's his own person i love that personally all right fuck uh everybody's made it out to be a business so there's no loyalty fuck it make your plans known say what you want to do be your own person because nobody's gonna fucking advocate for you nobody the team's not gonna do that I, you know, I'm a fan of the team, but they're not going to be like, all right, Javi, we'll make sure we get you to the Mets. That's not how that works. But at least the Mets know, hey, that guy with the big mouth and the fucking terrible on-base percentage and uh, the home run every four or five days, he wants to come play with us. 
you know, we're really bad at offense. He fits right in. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good, I mean, really, he's, whatever. Whatever, man. Let him play. Whatever. I, 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 I have no opinion, really. I see all sides of the situation. Me as a Cubs fan, I wish he wouldn't have said that. Me as an individual who calls his own shots for a living, I love that he said that, you know. So that's the biggest or the, the hardest thing to explain to people about uh, me being a, a card collector. Like, yeah, I'm still a card collector, but I don't collect the trendy shit, man. I'm not I'm not collecting for money. Oh, those cards you want to sell me? Those are investment pieces. Well, right now I'm not investing in 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 those cards. It's like, hey, you're a Cubs fan. You want to buy? No, just because I'm a Cubs fan doesn't mean I want to buy every Cubs card either. So, uh, you know, there's two there's two hats I have to. There's more than two hats, but there's two hats I wear when talking to humans. It's collector Brad and businessman Brad, and I I really hate being a businessman sometimes. Uh, anyway, we have the assignments. I'll get them on the screen for you guys. Nobody's yelled at me yet. Do, do, do. And then we're going to rip this. We're going to rip it just like the last one, guys. So if you weren't watching the last one, we're going to go quick. Uh, the legs are, the legs are good. My legs really don't hurt. Uh, with my, like, with squats and stuff, I can't go all the way down. My knee literally will not push me up. I used to do, like, box squats, but I can't. Like, once I get to that parallel plane and below, my knee literally will not. My my tibia sticks out on both my legs. I had this, this goofy disease when I hit puberty. So, like, instead of going straight up like they're supposed to, they, they go out. So that when I sit down, they go even farther out. Like, they just go farther out. So it's hard for them to, like, straighten back up. It's not, like, a pain thing or a discomfort thing. It's just they're not... I made goofy, so they don't work properly for squats, but like leg press, I'd like press 800 pounds today. And did four sets with, like, supersets basically with the calf raises at the end, so. I mean, the legs are good. They don't, I have a hard time getting them to hurt uh, without doing, like, quick starting and stopping stuff, which I don't need to do because I'm not an athlete anymore. Two hats to ground and underground case breaks business cards. <laughs> <laughs> here we go here we go friends you're gonna get all the base if anyone does not want their base let me know i don't care either way we got shorted a promo pack no 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 it's here sorry it is here it was just hiding and i was i was gonna be upset because we did in one of the boxes we got shorted both promo packs they weren't in the box uh chrome toppers red Sox, xander bogarts these are my favorite chromes in the longest time i can't I can't express it enough. I would buy a whole case just and sell the 12 chrome toppers as its own spot. And I'd buy that spot. Nick Madrigal for the White Sox rookie. And the box. The box. Only 17 people watching. I get it. What up? I just bought the last one in the other mixer. There you go. The other mixer sold out. That's the only other break today. I have to go to the water park at uh, in less than four hours. So... Yay. Awesome. Here we go. We're going to skip all the base, though. I mean, look. This is it. This is all base. I'm done with it. <laughs> It'll all get sorted, and the proper rookies will get taken care of. Austin Romine, Rainbow Foil. Cole Hamels is going to be in orange. Number 2299. But I will have more breaks tomorrow. I do have deliveries coming today. We're going to have some good, good, good good mixers tomorrow at least that's my plan if they fill anyway they're gonna be a little probably a little pricier than sixty dollars but i'll try and keep them under a hundred uh pache player worn for the braves relic we're gonna have a few more in this pack vladdy the daddy and max scherzer everybody seems to want max scherzer but all this stuff ships uh we had the list of rookies there was like four rookies last time we named out austin romine what about austin romine Nobody talking about him. Why are we talking about him? So bloop, bloop, bloop. Nobody cares. Uh, Devin Williams with the cup. Rainbow foil. Joey Gallo home run challenge. Goldschmidt DH debuts. Bryce Harper. And your base. Your base. 
Not my base, your base. Are these the complete sets? No, Zach, they are not the complete sets. This is just a, a Series 2 Jumbo case. So there's Hobby and Jumbo. Hobby and Jumbo. Sorry, my finger wasn't where it needed to be for uh, the flagship releases. It's just a six box Jumbo case. But we ship all the base. So, like, I don't even go through this stuff. This is all base. Every one of it. There'll be rookies too, but it's all base. There's no parallels here. Everything is conveniently located in the middle of the pack. So, we don't. That stuff just goes to shipping. And then once everything's sorted out, the appropriate rookies get sleeved and what have you. Uh, picture's worth a thousand words. Uh, the Braves doing things. Nick Markakis in there. There you go, buddy. I hope you're enjoying the retirement. Number to 2021 20, there. Gold parallel. We have a gold foil ender NCR. He just got cut. I don't know if they traded and or sent him down or released him outright yet. But ender NCR they did get designated for assignment not too long ago. A few days ago. I think over the weekend. By the Braves. I'll be back when this shit's done. <laughs> Uh, Kirloff, Hayes, Jazz, Chisholm, someone else, you're right, uh, yeah, Kirloff, Hayes, Jazz, there was another one, it wasn't a twin, though, easy, Meehan, <laughs> I mean, I agree, but for the price, it's hard to beat it, it's the price, uh, a spot was the price of two blasters with your fucking tax, and that's a shipping included and all of that, so, we've all bought two blasters and got smashed before, uh, if you don't get a hit in this, you're going to get a ton of cards. I, I, I don't... I'm a terrible salesman, because I'll, I'll tell you what makes sense to me, but it doesn't make sense to anybody else, apparently. I, I don't know. Uh, Gold Foil DD, Gregorius. We're going to have a vintage stock Tommy Pham for the Padres. Number to 99. And a rookie logo card patch, Joe Adele. Or the Angels. Like I said, he was leading AAA in home runs last I checked. I don't know when or where if he's going to be here. But I don't know if he's hitting for average or getting on base. But he's he's still hitting him out of the park for the Angels AAA squad. So yeah, the mixer will be... Oh, uh, 20 minutes or so after the conclusion of this break. I just have to reset up everything. Cole Hamill's number to 2021. 20, We're getting a lot of golds. I like that. Uh, Stephen Piscotti, gold foil. And a good rookie here. It's going to be a base short print. It's Jake Cronenworth. Joshua, there you go, brother. Cronenworth, rookie short print for the Padres. Uh, no, Series 2 is not it. See, Zach, it's very hard to advise you in that. Uh... Because it depends on whether you're buying uh, singles or whether you're wanting to buy boxes. Uh, that question is a question that I would ask more questions to you before I gave you my opinion. Because there's, I don't think there's a, a correct answer. I think there's just opinions. So my opinion might not be 100% accurate. Uh, but it, it would be my opinion rather than my answer. Uh... Like, that Cronenworth, this will be, like, one of his most valuable rookie cards. It's a short print of his base rookie flagship card. Collectors will say that that's valuable, but people don't like to buy flagship. They just want to buy the singles. It's just a mass-produced product. This is, this is, like, one of Top's biggest product print runs of the year. So there's just so much of it. Uh, Nick Ahmed, gold foil. We're going to have Conforto and Garcia for the Yankees. I got a giant box the other day. Pulled that Cronenworth, Jazz, Key, Brian. Yeah, those are like the guys out of this product. Uh, Yeah, do you have this specific one? Because this is actually a short print. This is a different photo than his base card. But yeah, I would keep this. This is, or the, the base version of this, which would be the same card number, 371. It just has a different code at the bottom. Yes, I, I would keep that if you like Cronenworth. That would be his card. This card, speaking of, I did not do that. It's flagship right there for you. Uh, Jordan Montgomery, Devin Williams, significant statistics. And Will Clark, NL All-Star. Uh, also, if you hear me talking to random people, uh, we have YouTube and Facebook, and my chat is all in the one place. Oh, yeah, so you have a short print, so that's even better, Zach. That's actually good. That should be worth some money. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to sleeve that right away. Yes. Yes, sir. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, four one is the short print code. Four two is the super short print. Four three is like the ultra or whatever the hell they're calling it. Angels team card, rainbow foil, Trout Otani, and what is it? Angelton Simmons, Martin Maldonado. I mean, that's how good I am at my job. People watching that aren't in this break. I know everybody that's on that card. I know the sport. I'm not some fly by night fuck who rips retail for a living. Giants green, number to four ninety nine. Just. Just taking shots, because I can, really. That's all that was. <laughs> shots fired. Hashtag that. 0-60, to 60, Trey Turner, what's up? Roberto Alomar. Just want people to know I'm, I'm, I'm very good at what I do. Bum, bum, ba -da. My, uh, my, my negative personality trait is that I cuss like a sailor. But, hey, I'm comfortable with me, baby. We're going to get a terrible autograph. TJ Antone, fly-by-night fucks, dude. I mean, that, what, what do you think happened last year? Ryan Castellani, everybody went and fucking started pulling out guns at fucking Target like a bunch of goddamn idiots. And, uh, <laughs> you know, now nobody can even go buy retail. Ryan Castellani, and then they all wanted to be breakers. Anybody with a phone and an Instagram account could put on a half ass show. And then there's, uh, you know, the, then then they take four weeks to ship their cards, and then people are always asking me. That's that's the, like, side effect. When people get screwed over by other people is, then they all come to me. Like, hey, I'd love to help you, but I don't know even who that person is. But then they just, they, they show up, and then they disappear, and then they show back up. And then people complain, and then people defend them. I'm sorry, but if you're real new, and half... The people are defending you and the other half are not. That's too many that are not. <laughs> yeah, just my opinion though. Again, my opinions only. The views expressed in this video are those of mine. Bradley Ross, owner, operator, president, chief financial officer, uh, accountant, bookkeeper extraordinaire of Underground Case Breaks. Which also are the reviews reflected by those of Underground Case Breaks. <laughs> because, uh, you know, yeah. So that's that's that. Just putting that disclaimer out there. Lewin Diaz for the fish. Ryan Jeffers for the Minnesota Twins. I just love being me. I'm so comfortable being me. I think everybody here knows that. Nate Pearson. You guys know I want the best for you. I want everybody to make money if they can in the hobby. I don't want to sell people things when they don't have money. You know. You guys know me. I'm irrelevant as all get out. I'm hoping we get a parallel earlier than like the third box. We are. We're going to get one right here. We're going to get a blue. Blue Ryan Sandberg, Anthony Rizzo, Christian Pache, and a blue Tariq Scooball for the Detroit Tigers. 64 out of 150 for Detroit. I am irrelevant. That's what the big people say. But they're all busy ripping people off at the National right now. So I'm good. I'm good here. You guys are getting better deals here. You know why? Because I'm not at the National. I'm not paying for a table. I'm not transporting your cards to a bunch of places before they get shipped. You know, I'm not doing any of these things. And I'm not trying to lure you in with free shit. Because I lure you in with the best deals on planet Earth. Let's go. Let's go box number two. 26 people watching me rip flagship. That says enough. That says enough right there. I appreciate it. This is a gorgeous card. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron for the Braves with the throwback logo and everything. Fantastic. R.I.P. One of the best pitchers ever. Don't at me. In Cubs wear, too. I love it. Anytime you get Greg Maddox in Cubs uniform, I'm all about it. All about it. Box number two. I'm going to pause just a moment for station identification and a word from our sponsors. Ah. Mm. It's refreshing. I do get you in with the great deals just to skunk you. That's the only reason I bring you in, just to skunk you. That's it. At least I don't skunk you for more money than you should be paying. I, I'm... That's such a point of contention with me but people will overpay anyway or pay because they think that that's okay so i just man once 
Once I get to a certain number, I'm like, I don't, I don't need to get any more from this. You know, we'll be all right. Independence Day, Don Russ, they're so bad this year. Uh, Southside Strength, four straight, four baggers. I do remember them going back to back to back to back to back. Jerks. Go Cubs. <laughs> the Cubs are booty sweat. <laughs> You're all right. Hey, why don't you go guard something, pal? <laughs> Woo, hashtag shots fired already. Can't even guard that 3-1 lead. That's, that's what I heard. That's the best thing I heard yesterday. Is that how are they going to be the Guardians? They couldn't even guard the 3-1 lead. <laughs> ah! Oh, it's so funny because it's, you know, it's true. But I'm not trying to throw the shade. The shade kind of threw itself. Another terrible autograph coming up. St. Louis Cardinals, Cody Whitley. Everybody loves pictures, right? Yeah, uh, my buddy, old old customer Don Strazula, he posted a picture of his Otani Independence Day rookie card. And man, it's such a beautiful color scheme. To have it be ruined by stupid red stars this year is embarrassing. I, I don't even want to see what the chrome one's going to look like. It's going to look so bad. Also, all the same people that are crying about flagship will be the same people fighting over teams in Topps Chrome. Which is the same fucking dog shit product that flagship is. It's just shiny and chromey. And everybody will love it for three players. It's like football though. Everybody will buy every football product for three players. So it is what it is. Yeah, twenty eighteen was twenty eighteen was a fantastic year. That Independence Day parallel was sweet. It like fans out in different colors and then has the stars in it. It's it's a fantastic parallel. Fantastic Kirilov Silver rainbow foil he's done for the year but this is a good card real muto ichiro i might be the only guy that talks shit about the same things that he sells that should give me all the credibility in the world if that doesn't i don't know what does i'm not afraid to talk badly about the same stuff i'm selling to you because you're gonna buy it anyway <laughs> you're gonna buy it anyway come buy it with b-red or at least I'll be honest with you. All right, Corey Dickerson. We're going to have one number to 499. It's going to be A.A. Ron Nola Green for the Phils in a Nate Pearson rookie logo patch for the Blue Jays. Anthony Rizzo. You, Darvish. I wonder if the Cubs... Would be competing if they had you, Darvish, still. Over Zach Davies. Zach Davies hasn't been terrible. He hasn't been great. But we also lost Caratini, and I think that hurt early on. I really do, because uh, Tony Walters was just not good at all. Uh, base short print, John Carlos Stanton for the Yanks. I d yeah, I don't know. The offense has been more of an issue. The bullpen was a pleasant surprise, and the starting pitching was pretty shit like we anticipated it to be. Uh, Kevin Biggio, they just got off to a, a good start. Even with, like, they were they were like the worst team batting average-wise in the league, and they were still winning games. It was, it was kind of impressive how they were winning with no real production. But and they, that's a hard thing to keep doing, and they couldn't keep doing it. Uh, Luis Campusano, gold for the Padres, number 2021. Dellen Batantis, Ricky Henderson, Crochet for the White Sox. Dustin May, Solaire, home run challenge. Freddie Freeman, doesn't swing and miss. He finally did, but he usually doesn't. Daniel Bard, Adalberto, Raul Mondesi, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge.
Dustin May, number to 2021. The same Angels team card, gold foil. Isaiah Kiner Falefo, number to 299 for the Rangers. Mookie's on the DL, or the IL, sorry. Uh, Conforto, can't call it disabled. It's injured. They're, they're physically disabled, but you can't say that anymore. It's the weirdest world we live in. We just need to go to every remaining game and they will win. There we go. Oh, man. I, I think I'm above 500 for Cubs games this year. Contreras. I started off bad. Bad. It was a bad start. I went to, like, every game they lost in April. <laughs> uh, William Contreras for the Braves. Braylon Marquez for the Cubs. Uh, Chuck Nasty and Mitch White for the Dodgers. Rounding out this promo pack. Yeah, I. it's, it's the DL, man. I'm sorry. And that's the thing. We'll say it just like I might slip up and call Washington the Redskins, and I'm sure I'm going to call Cleveland the Indians for the longest time, and it's I'm not doing it to be an asshole. Just, when you spend 30-something years of your life calling it one thing, and then they change it on you, it's, it's going to be an adjustment period of 30 fucking years. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's just the truth. You should get... However long you've been alive, you should get that long of a, a grace period. <laughs> so until I'm in my 60s, I shouldn't have to worry about none of these changes. Michael Conforto, Randy Johnson. We're going to have one number to 75. It's Mike Trout. Let's go. Who's got the Angels? Robert Toby. Vic Vegas. Haven't seen my man in a while. Hope you're doing good, brother. 45 out of 75. Mike Trout. Purple promo. Kind of like that. That's always a good day at the office. Anytime you get to pull some Mike Trout numbers, I love it. Fins triggered. Oh man, I don't know. I don't even. The whole, the whole Olympics thing going on is incredibly weird to me. And you can't, you can't say anything without getting attacked on the internet. That's why I hate the internet for that shit. You can't say anything. You can't have an opinion. You can't disagree. You can't do anything on the internet because somebody's gonna tell you. How they're so fucking morally better than you. And it's disgusting. Because no, they're not. Just telling you right now. They're on the internet. They're not even real until I see them in the flesh. The, limp, the, the, the gymnast lady. I'm not, I don't want to say anything. She's I, mental health, whatever you want to say. She's bailing on her people. And I, I'm not saying that she's right or wrong for it. Because I, I want people to be happy. But I just, I hope that down the road, yeah, she's the greatest, they say, and this and that. I just hope she doesn't regret not doing it. I know there's pressure, and I know that people are saying it's unfair, and that she's too good, so everything has to be worse. And, I, you know, I, you let people win when you step away. You can call it mental health or whatever, but if, if you're really letting a, like a, a made-up fucking narrative, like, is there proof? That these people are judging her harder because she's better than everyone else. I don't know because I don't follow gymnastics. And 80% of the people that are on social media don't follow gymnastics either. So none of us are educated to have a conversation on the subject. But it's just, it's an unfortunate situation all around for multiple reasons. A, somebody else could have been in her spot. But... If she was ready, willing, and able then, then when they have to make their selections, they have to make their selections. You know, B, I'm sure she did have every intention of competing, so I'm not I'm not trying to dog this lady. She's a world-class athlete. I'm not trying to say anything bad. I just hope that she's happy with the decision she made. And then all the, all the people fucking taking knees and shit during the anthem, like, don't folks understand what it is to be an Olympic athlete? You're representing your country. Why are you going to go represent your country on a knee? I, 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 I have a hard time understanding that. That's not The Olympics is not the place for activism. It's the place for representing your country. Activate afterwards. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, we can't do anything anymore, it seems like. Nothing can be what it's supposed to be without there being some sort of extracurricular message that's not involved to the fucking competition at hand so until we get past all of that I, I really don't know sam huff short print for the rangers 
They don't give people who actually competed any attention. It's all on her. See, yeah, that's the other thing, too. Yeah, if she's not competing, good, great, grand. She's on the bench. Worry about, yeah, exactly. Shine the light on who's who's doing her thing. I, I, I'm not saying anything negative about that lady. I'm not. I just, it's an unfortunate situation. And if she's really got something going on in her head, man, that sucks. That sucks. Alex Verdugo, 41 out of 50 for the Red Sox. But it's... It's it's strange. It's strange. Why would you get that far and not finish going all the way? How much hell did she put in in the gym and in the, the gymnastics practices to be ready to compete at the grandest stage of them all just to bow out? I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I've been hurt for two months and I still go to the gym and work out every day. It's just a fucking, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's not the same, but that's the best comparison I have. And that's not even a game. You know what I mean? I'd, I'd have to be, like, in a wheelchair to not compete if there was a game going on. Even if I didn't like that the deck was stacked against me. But I'm probably, like, I mean, I'm losing viewers talking right now. It's just weird, man. It's The world is getting weird. You should just be the most proud fucking person on planet Earth. You're representing your country. They're playing your anthem. I mean, the fucking Russians cheated their dicks off. They're not even Russia. They can't even play their anthem. And they're still over there fucking working their ass off. Even though they're all steroided up and God knows what's going on with them. But to be there in front of every other nation in the world. To win an event. To stand in front of on a podium with a gold medal and your flag and your fucking song playing. How is there... This would be the ultimate source of pride right there. Like, I am literally the best in the world, and I got to be the best in the world training in this country. I, I, that's all I got. I don't know how I don't know how anything else is going on in your mind at that point. Frenchie Cordero. Gold. We have number 499, Craig Kimbrell. Chicago Cubs. But I'm pretty sure Finn just baited me with that question. I'm not dumb, Finn. I know you know what's going on in the Olympics. Mariano Rivera, commemorative ring. For the Yankees, we're going to have a Dahlbeck rookie insert. Charlie Blackman. Well, again, I hate when my own videos on my in front of my face. Go away. Julian Merriweather, another pitcher auto. It's going to be Cody Hoyer for the Chicago White Sox. It's been a big deal. Well, the, the the big deal, the biggest deal to me is she pulled out of the team event and then said she was still going to do the individual event. The individual events. And then today, this morning, I woke up and now she pulled out of all of her events. So she just forfeited a spot for our country. I don't know if anyone can take her place. I don't know if it's too late for that, but I don't, I, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> That's why I said I don't know what's going on. I, it's it's just wild to me that that situation even arises. Uh, Chiz Holmes, since we found it, we'll sleeve it now. Uh, James Paxton, Raphael Devers, home run challenge. Ted Williams. And it was she. She says he had a mental health thing. So I, I'm not. I'm not discrediting any of that. I just hope that she doesn't regret it down the road. There's so much work that goes into being ready at that place, at that stage, at that time. To have a bad week at the wrong, pot, like that. If she's really having a bad time in her head, it's, it's super unfortunate because that's the worst fucking time ever to have a bad a bad a bad yeah it's bad it's if if something seriously you know because i trust me i'm not saying that that shit don't exist either i'm a fucking head case friends uh that's a bad week to for it to happen to her it's unfortunate it's just unfortunate Because then if she, like, if you get down the road, you know, maybe next summer, she's like, fuck. Fuck, I could have had four more gold medals. <laughs> I, I don't know what it's like to have a medal. So, 
So I don't know if she's going to wish she had more when it's all said and done. Because you don't stay an elite athlete forever. But they say there's a price to victory. You know, there's a price. Everything comes with the price. And I'm not going to sit here and say that there's not mental implications involved with everything. So it's just, it's just a, it's an unfortunate situation. It's unfortunate all the way around and I don't know what the answer is. Uh, Muse, it really has no effect on me, but it's unfortunate. Unfortunate. I just hope she's good either way. Either way, I hope she's good. She don't have to explain herself. She don't have to do none of that. I just hope that she's at peace with the decision I'm sure she is now, but down the road, I hope that's the same too. Because there's no getting it back. There's no getting it back once you once you give it away. Uh, Matt Foster, number to 2021, gold rookie. We'll sleeve it out of courtesy. Mitch Garver, number to 299. Kirilov for the Twins. Madrigal for the White Sox. That's a good thing about being a breaker like you. Elite forever. Ooh, no, I'm irrelevant forever, bud. Irrelevant. I just, I don't know. I just got to stay on top of my shit, bud. I'm okay with the fact that if people don't like me, there's a million other places for them to go. So I just, I just do my thing. But at the same time, sometimes I want to touch on topics that I know the internet in general would not let me touch with a 100-foot pole. Dwight Smith Jr., but sometimes I'm going to say what I want to say anyway. Advanced stats for Austin Hedges. And I and people keep coming back, so that's why I keep kind of tightrope walking around some of these subjects. Because I feel like they should be discussed. We shouldn't just pretend that they're not an issue, because you can't do it in a comment section of a fucking forum, because internet trolls are wild people, and I'm not having it. Self-righteous fucks, not having it. Nobody's perfect. Nobody. Nobody's perfect. If I want to make a joke, I'm going to make a joke, sorry. If it's funny, it's funny. It's the fucking internet. Get over it. Reggie Jackson, but that doesn't mean be like cruel and mean and vicious and fucking hateful either. And I, I, you know, there's a line. But you should be able to have fun too. It shouldn't be so goddamn serious where you can't even make a fucking joke anymore. That's what kills me about anything on social media. When did joking become a crime? Well, you weren't joking. You said it, so you're the devil. Like, no, I fucking... I didn't say it. I poked at it with my fingers and hit an enter button. It never came out of my mouth. It came out of my brain and out through my fingertips, and uh, I never said it. So if you want to start playing stupid games, I can play stupid games with you too. It was a joke. You know, things like that. It's crazy. Three boxes left halfway home. Hope everybody's having a good time. Hit the like button, turn on the notifications, subscribe. Do all of those things you need to do so you get the notifications when you need it. The next mixer is sold out and will be live about 20 minutes after the conclusion of this break right here, right now. Which reminds me, friends, I have to update that listing really quick. So give me one second. Um... so confusing people are gonna be like what did he even just put in the title uh gary carter new york mets chrome topper bum, bum, ba -dum. chris cotton thanks for liking evan alexander eight other people liked the video there's 13 of you watching on facebook though so i'm missing three of you i'm missing three of you i don't know who but i'll find out no i'm just i'm just kidding i'm not gonna find out i don't even know why i top loaded that gary carter uh aaron judge the 2018 archives look, which is actually a throwback to oh man, what I third Juice Man with the sad face. Blake. Oh, maybe that's something else. I think that's his easy top post. Break with the breaker that can type without looking at the keyboard. Oh yeah, that's me, baby. Are there people that don't know how to type? Here's the funny thing about me and typing. I went to I started in a, a big city. And then we moved to the middle of nowhere. So I went to this goofy school in the middle of nowhere where 69 was an F. And 
Uh, there was a class in the sixth grade where they literally covered, you went in this fucking computer office looking place. And uh, go in there and it's nothing but computers. And they're, you know, old computers. Like, just one step out of floppy disks. You know what I mean? The computers that only ran on the floppy disks. This is the 90s. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, you go in there and then they had these orange little things that covered up the, the keyboard. Then you had to learn how to type. <laughs> Shit. So I learned how to type. I've known how to type forever now. That's one thing I learned in school that served me well in life. It's typing. We're going to have a Platinum Parallel uh, Manufactured Relic coming up. Cole Calhoun, number 2021. We have Kansas City Royals. Mickey Moniak, rookie, number 499. I can't like it when you rig it against me. Typewriters, not computers. Yeah, for sure. I get it. I get it. Typewriter. I've touched one before. Uh, it's the captain, Derek Jeter, number 70. Bum, bum, ba, dum. Two out of 70. Well, there you go. There you go. It's the old uh, number, the fancy one. So this is the most expensive number to 70 parallel you have right there. You're welcome, Yankees. <laughs> Kirby Puckett. Key Brian Hayes, rookie insert. Well, then make a sad face. I don't care. Just react to the video. It's got to help the algorithm. We get a pretty decent amount of YouTube people watching now, though. Because usually I can tell when, like, somebody I don't recognize comments. I'm like, oh, hey, how'd you find this? Look, only one sleeve was flipped over on that Beckett, Beckett pack of sleeves. That's a good day. That's a good day. So we wrap this case up. Uh, Michael Fulmer, we're going to have a 70th, it is, it's a platinum parallel, Ryan McMahon, number to 70 for the Rockies, I didn't know if it'd be black or platinum, they're both number 270, 26 out of 70, Ryan McMahon for the Rockies, Jose Abreu, Yelich, does it help when I go to all your lists and click the like button, I don't know. No, because, really, I mean, really, once a, like, once a break is sold or whatever, like, that post is basically dead. No way. All right, we're going to get an awesome autograph. We're getting an awesome autograph. TJ Antone, gold rookie. So, like, once the post is irrelevant, like, it's over, then, then I really don't care. We have a gold Shinsu Chu. Baltimore Orioles. Who's got them? Josh Kronowski. How about this one for you, bud? Brooks Robinson. How fucking badass is this? I don't know if I've ever pulled a Brooks Robinson autograph. I don't think I have. 18 out of 50. Brooks Robinson. Baltimore. I like that. I like that a lot. I, I don't think I've ever pulled one. That's why I like it. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if or what day I'm going to the National. It won't be tomorrow, and it's not today. So maybe Friday or Saturday. When it's a madhouse, I'm sure. I don't know, I'm going to drive. I'm going to park there and everything. Or somewhere. Uh, Frenchie Cordero, Rainbow Foil. He was a beast. Yeah, absolutely, he was a beast. Uh, Daz Cameron. It is a base short print. For the Tigers. Look at that textbook bump for him too. I don't really like where his thumb is though. As long as it's behind the barrel though it's good. I don't like how forward pointed it is. I'm not an instructor though. So I don't don't take my word for it. Black Parallel Philadelphia Philly Spencer Howard. Player worn. Number 2, 199. 194 out of 199. This is a cool hit. That's something you don't hit every day. I mean, literally, I don't think I've hit one in three and a half years. So that's a, that's a cool one. It's a cool one for me. Ryan Braun Verlander. Jose Altuve. Rainbow Foil. We have Warren Spawn. Don Mattingly. 
Were there any Red Sox in series two? Yeah, we had a. There was an insert of something. Oh, we had a Verdugo earlier. I think a relic, a gold one. Oh boy, Daniel Bard, Jordan Montgomery number two ninety nine for the Yanks. We got Seager and Kieran Loft for the Twins. Mm -hmm. Derek Dietrich, weird seeing him with sleeves on. Yelich, Tony Gwynn, Frank Thomas. Hunjin Ryu, number 2021. We're going to have Dustin May, gold foil. Jazz Chisholm, insert Dean Kramer. Anything special? Uh, no, it's just like uh, the water park's expensive. And uh, I don't know, something about the YMCA night. I, I don't know. My wife got tickets to go cheap. The kids like it, you know, they got water slides and all of that stuff. So I, I don't know. I don't really like the idea of swimming in a giant urine pool, but hey, YOLO, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Scratch the nose with the wrist. It's a textbook tip I can teach you guys. It happens, friends. We're all human. Sometimes you gotta scratch. We have Jose Barrios, Bryce Harper, Joe Adele for the Angels, and Jose Abreu for the White Sox. So, no, I don't think there's anything uh, special going on. Just... That's what I'm doing. I don't even know where they're at right now. Usually just take the debit card and the kids and head off on adventures. But my my oldest starts cheerleading next week, like every day next week, so there's that. Five year old kids having practices like four days a week. That's crazy. Five year old kids. I'm going to need to do all that practicing for. They're five years old. And, and whatever, get them out of the house. <laughs> Let's do something. All right, two boxes left. We have a nice chrome jazz chisel. That's usually what happens. I don't have a say in it either. Because usually it'll be like the day I need to put gas in my car. That's literally probably the only thing I spend money on outside of cards. Is putting gas in my car. <laughs> or paying the bills. That's it. I don't spend money on shit. What I need to spend money for. What are you doing? You know what I mean? I buy, I buy baseball cards and put gas in my car. Maybe a maintenance thing. Car wash. The car wash maybe, you know. But other than that, I fuck. It's my debit card. It should just be her debit card, though. Have you hit anything? Rel yeah, Brooks Robinson, bro. Gold. Gold Brooks Robinson autograph. Very cool. Very cool auto. Dellen Batances. We're going to have a legend variation. It's going to be Ricky Henderson for the A's. You going to practice was a nice hit. I'm sure it is, dude. I'm telling you, that's not common. I think it's the only Brooks Robinson hit I've ever pulled. What do you think? What, Josh, what'd it say? What'd it say it's going for? You're going to practice the cheer route. I mean, whatever it takes, babe. I'm here to build successful little humans. So if, if I got to fucking shake up them pom-poms, babe, I don't want to, but I will. Let's just make it clear. Alright, we're going to have another hit. It's going to be a decent one. Uh, Strasburg, number to 50, Eric Hosmer for the Padres, number to 50. Last sale was 86. Not bad. Not bad. I was kind of thinking, hoping around 100 bucks for it. So bad. Hosmer, number to 50 for the Padres. Garcia McKenzie.
Michael Conforto, David Wright, Joel Adele, Braylon Marquez. So, yes. If I have to, I will. Jose Marmaleos, Brad Miller, Tatis. Next commemorative card coming up, we have Shane McClanahan, Gold Foil, Mike Soroka, number two ninety nine for the Braves, and for the Mets it will be Gary Carter. Gary Carter, the king of cut autographs. So many Gary Carter cut autos. He was one of the first cut autos I ever pulled in anything, and I thought it was special until I realized there's a million of them. Anthony Rizzo and Jose Canseco. Ha! Not touching it. Not touching his name. Pirates, there you go. Not doing it. Number to 50, Scott Kingery for the Phillies. The Father's Day Blue. Atlanta Braves going to get some game used memorabilia in the form of NL All Star numbered 8 out of 199, Tom Glavin. If you're having a good time, hit the like button. Turn on notifications, subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page. I don't care, whatever platform you're on, do something. Helps grow everything around here, and I appreciate the hell out of it. Do, 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 do. Moving on, we have Brian Reynolds, number 2021, Jonathan VR, Ricky Anderson, Luis Garcia. Got to put socks on, and my feet are cold. Some first world problems I'm having right now. Corey Seager. Rafael Devers. We have Tom Seaver. Ronaldo Acuna Jr. Mm -mm -mm. Anybody watching this? Any of you guys watched my Twitch stream yesterday? And if so, what'd you think? I know Finn watched for a little bit. We had like six, seven people for an unannounced stream. I was pretty happy. It was really just a test. Played some Apex. It was fun. I had fun. That's really all I care. I had a good time. Clint Frazier. We have Jared Oliva. And number to 76. Clark Schmidt with a terrible Independence Day rookie for the Yankees. Popped in for like two minutes. Yeah, money. We had some good games. I think the last game was actually pretty good. We lost, but we, you know, made it to the final two squads. It's hard to play by yourself, though. It's hard to play solo. That game, specifically. Uh, parallel coming up. It's, oh, I hope it's an auto. It should be an auto. Should be an auto. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I hope it, it's got to be an auto. It's thick, right? It's thick. There's no color. It's got to be an auto. Dylan Carlson. And I'm just going to tell you right now, fish, baby, jazz, chis home. What's up? Let's go. Let's go. Free hits. Free hits. Is that you, Josh? You got the fish, 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 fish. Yep, Joshua. There you go, buddy. These aren't numbered. Oh, yeah, they are. Sorry, number to 149, Jazz Chisholm. Base. Base is 23 out of 149. Bang. I like it. We'll take that any day of the week. That's that good promo pack stuff right there. That's why I love to turn the boxes. I'm the biggest proponent of putting the promo packs in the boxes. And we're going to double up on this box. It's a winner's box right here, folks. Mike Schmidt, Walker Bueller, 
Juan Soto and Aaron Nola, number to 150. 64 out of 150 for the Phillies. We have one box left, friends. What do you say? Let's do it. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. I got to carefully take these out of here. We have our toppers. Gary Carter, again. I don't know if it's the same one. It is exactly the same one, actually. So there'll be two of these. Gary Carter and Juan Soto. Two major balls as well. The first two boxes. Ooh. Excuse me. All right, last box, friends. Here we go. We have Clint Frazier. Uh, base short print. Trevor Bauer. Nobody wants to see this guy again. That's what I'm hearing. For the Dodgers. Uh, we're going to have another nice legend relic. Uh, number to 51 out of 50. Chicago White Sox game used bat relic. The big squirt, Frank Thomas. Such a large human. He's really good at hitting the baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it right after this, Finn. It'll be like 20 minutes for moving everything and getting set up making a new list getting everything ready yeah as soon as as soon as i'm ready to go that we'll be live with that one i even updated the website listing to say pretty much that <laughs> jake lamb number 2021 jose garcia gold foil uh jeter luis garcia <laughs> Nathan Eovaldi, Glad the Dad, Tatis. Chad Wallach. David Fletcher. Ooh, Pirates. David Fletcher, number to 70. Rookie logo patch, platinum parallel. T. Brian Hayes, number 270. Commemorative or not, it's pretty cool. And it's low numbered. It's 56 out of 70 for the Pirates. And Jose Luis Soyola Colon. What's up, brother? There you go, sir. Still time for an auto, maybe? That might be worth the spot. Might be. Might be. We have JT Brewbaker, gold foil, and Brandon Belak, number 50 for the Astros. I saw somebody upset with the Astros trade, said they should have traded this guy that I'm holding in my hand. I forget who said it, though. Brandon Belak, 25 out of 50 for the Astros. Barry Larkin, Tristan McKenzie, so a bunch of pitcher autos. All, most of them low, lower numbered, though, so that's I mean, the, the silver lining, I guess. If you're into those sort of things, I think there will be no more hits the rest of the way in these packs. Blue Jays, Suarez, home run challenge for the Reds, Shane Bieber, and Acuna. Ben Gamble, Giancarlo Stanton. Joe Adele. So many cards in a case of flagship. Should write a song about it. It's how many cards there are in a case. Uh, Astros, Rainbow Foil Team card. Mike Trout, Significant Statistics. Chipper Jones and Rymeal Tapia. Base card in behind all of that. I just want to get to these promo packs unless they're going to drop a sweet ass parallel on us here, real in real short order. Ovedo, number 2021. Adonis Medina, 1 out of 299. Reds team card. The eBay 101 is here. 
Brady Singer and Braylon Marquez in our last pack, last base pack of the case. Thank you guys. Big shout out to Josh Kronowski for making this happen. Who knows where we'd be without Joshua. Edwin Rios, number to 76. Tom Hatch. Good grief. Could we get one good good name with the It's such a disgusting parallel though. It's so bad. I don't know how Top's okay that. It's so bad. It's fucking Don Russ, man. Be better. <laughs> Corey Seager. I don't complain about Tops that often. But that's that's it is so disheartening seeing that pop up in series one. Promo packs. Just not good. Mickey Moniak, Whit Merrifield, Larry Walker, and Castellanos for the Reds. And our last one, friends, good luck. It doesn't feel like anything. And it's 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 nothing. We have Aaron Nola. Glasnow, Turner, and Ozzy Albies. So, friends, with that being said, it's time for a recap. Make sure you hit the like button, do all of those things you need to do. Subscribe, turn on notification bells, get notifications. Better get a notification and not need that need a notification and not get it. And recap. We had Tom Hatch, Independence Day, number 76. We had Brandon Belak for the Astros, number 50. Uh, Key Brian Hayes, commemorative platinum parallel rookie logo patch card. Frank the Tank, number 50, gold, game-used bat relic. Trevor Bauer, base short print. Jazz Chisholm, silver pack autograph, number 149 for the Fish. Clark Schmidt, Independence Day. Tom Glavin, game-used, number 199. Scott Kingery, number 50. Gary Carter, commemorative ring. Hosmer, number 250 for the Padres. Jazz Chisholm, chrome topper. Spencer Howard, number 199 for the Phillies. Daz Cameron, base short print. Brooks Robinson, Gold Auto, number 250 for the Orioles. Ryan McMahon, Platinum Parallel, number 270. Derek Jeter, Platinum Parallel, Commemorative Ring, number 70. Uh, Cody Hoyer, Base Autograph, Mariano Rivera, Commemorative Ring for the Yankees. Alex Verdugo, number 50, Player Worn for the Red Sox. Sam Huff, Base Short Print. Mike Trout, Promo, number 275 for the Angels. Kevin Biggio, Player Worn, Base Relic. Giancarlo Stanton, base short print. Nate Pearson, base rookie logo patch card. Cody Whitley, base autograph for the Cardinals. Independence Day, White Sox card. Scooball, number 150 for the Tigers. Ryan Castellani, autograph for the Rockies. Jake Cronenworth, base short print. Joe Adele, rookie logo patch card. Tommy Pham, vintage stock, number 99. And a Pache player worn relic. Thank you guys very much. That is the break. We will be back in about 20 minutes with the next Mixer break number 400.